And good afternoon to you, South Georgia. I'm Quillen Park with WALB News Now. We're following breaking news coming out of Tiff County. We have learned that a student was stabbed after an altercation this morning at Tiff County High School. We know that one other student, uh, the suspect in this case, has been arrested. The school was placed on lockdown this morning, but students have since been released and they're working on getting students uh, to their parents on buses and out of the high school at this time. So I want to take you to the latest information at this time again this happened around 10 a.m. this morning we're told from Tift County Schools several students were involved in an altercation this morning and it happened in the bathroom we are told um, one student was stabbed he, uh, the school was promptly placed on lockdown so that students and staff were safe of course at the school emergency um, well, excuse me EMTs were called to the school and staff, they were able to render aid to that student who was then later taken to the hospital. Tiff County High School parents were notified of the lockdown um, via their call out system as well as email. I want to take you to the latest statement that we've got from Tiff County Schools and that reads in part quote, we can confirm that a suspect, uh, also a student at Tiff County High School is in custody. The weapon involved has been confiscated and no other students were injured during the incident. At this time, we do not have additional information regarding the condition of the injured student. I want to go ahead and take you out live right now to our Caitlin Barker, who is on scene in Tiff County. Caitlin, uh, can you hear me? Yes, Quinlan, I can hear you. All right, Caitlin, um, we want to just basically get the latest information from you. Having a little technical difficulty with that shot is frozen right now, but we'll just go ahead um, and, and get the latest from you. What are you seeing right now uh, and what are you hearing from school officials and even parents? Yeah, parents are um, really concerned right now. They are, well, they actually are not as concerned as they were earlier today. They are um, able to get their children. Some have been out here since 1030 this morning waiting to get their children. Um, there was a long line of parents, a long uh, uh, view of cars here parked on the side of the street. Parents were just frantically trying to get to their children and make sure that they were safe. And um, now the school is uh, conducting dismissal as normal. Gotcha. And so we were seeing several reports on social media, several um, uh, things going around. We were able, though, to confirm with the school system, like you mentioned, that stabbing that happened. Um, right now, we see that parents, students, those buses, they're leaving the school. What was it looking like earlier once you actually got to the high school? Uh, when I first got to the high school, it was very chaotic, very chaotic. Um, this morning, uh, there were a lot of parents just worried. They had no idea what was going on um, at, you know, an hour, two hours after the incident occurred. No one knew exactly from the school what took place. All parents knew were that the students were on a lockdown um, because of what took place. But I mean, it was chaos out here. Parents parked in the middle of the street. You couldn't get through and they were confused. They didn't know what was going on. Yeah, I'm sure of it, Caitlin. Uh, and we do want to let parents know at home, though, that that lockdown, it was lifted this morning at 1145 and um, school operations, their uh, normal operations continued. And those parents who wanted to check out their children, they could do so following the normal checkout procedure. Um, but the instructional day just continued there on. Uh, Caitlin, uh, were you able to, uh, I guess, hear from any students who may have been inside or uh, know as to, you know, any information inside the school from a student's perspective? Um, a student that I spoke with earlier said classes were um, kind of normal, but uh, they, she didn't want to go into detail. She said she just was very scared and nervous and wanted to leave. She said she couldn't even focus the rest of the day. But um, that's as far as I know about what was going on inside of the school. I don't know if students were able to conduct classes normal or if they were staying in the classes they were in when this occurred.
Yeah, and I really quickly want to give you this update as well as our viewers, Caitlin. Um, there were procedures put in place uh, to kind of limit students moving throughout the building. That's going to happen throughout the remainder of today. Uh, and I believe there may only be like maybe an hour, hour and a half left in the school day anyways. But um, students were fed lunch in the classroom. Um, and that was to ensure that there is no um, escalation, uh, no further escalation uh, as a result of this incident. So, Caitlin, uh, I do know that you have a story coming up for us later today, uh, coming up at 4 o'clock. Um, so we'll get with you on that um, later again today, Caitlin. I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you giving us some more insight on what happened. But again, we'll see Caitlin coming back here today at 5 and 6. Caitlin, thank you. Uh, so again,